Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into Cardano and talking a little bit about where Cardano is headed. As we do see a dollar fifteen right now, about a five to six percent increase. You know that's not a price point we are all happy about. We want to continue to see that one rise in the next couple of months. I'm going to talk a little bit about the entire market. Cardano as a whole, where we could see it by the end of the year, the end of the bull market, and talk a little bit about some of the big things taking place in the Cardano network. So let's take a quick look at Cardano at a $38.5 billion market cap. We saw it push back in September of last year to $3.10, right before smart contracts did come out. We saw that all-time high push, and there's definitely a situation where we could see smart contracts continue to develop and actually push this coin even farther. There's a lot of cool things also going on behind the scenes, a lot of things to uh, continue to talk about. And I want to jump into today, the very, very first, it's going to be talking a little bit about Justin Cardano adds over 100 smart contracts in just two days. So this is going to be one of the biggest reasons people are interested in Cardano. It's because there are so many different ideas and different things taking place on the Cardano network already. And there's so many people already trying to implement so many different smart contracts, so many different platforms, so many different, uh, like I said, D apps in general. So I want to jump back over and talk a little bit about another thing called NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is a great, great place to get some of your crypto news. Most likely you're probably, you know, have at least heard of it before. But Cardano's D apps or DeFi apps could make it this year's hot cryptocurrency. So like I said, we are seeing a lot more DeFi apps and D apps in general jumping on board with Cardano has of recently. And by the way, DeFi is the key to Cardano. So Cardano recently launched its smart contract functionality, which will be turning point for it to become a major player in decentralized applications. The utility of DApps continues to grow in various industries, which bodies incredibly well for Cardano. The crypto platform has over 900 scripts for DApps at this time, and with smart contract functionality in place, it can deploy these apps on a much grander scale. So we're seeing an incredible outlook because of the Cardano developers aiming to make the really network fully decentralized this year. In achieving this, it'll be rolling out a peer-to-peer -peer test net and running a network through P2P staking. So this is a very, very big goal, and all the pieces need to come together to make this happen. And I want to say, guys, there's a huge potential for Cardano to continue to see an increase in 2022 because of all these things that have really recently come together and are going to come together later in this year. The next one's going to be on Coindesk. Cardano developers propose the block size increase. So this is just more information you should know if you guys are thinking or getting interested a little bit farther into Cardano and understanding how Cardano works and what they're trying to accomplish. So the proposal will increase Cardano's block size from 80 KB from the current 72 KB in line with a broader plan for increasing network capacity. So this is a huge network update. A lot of people are excited about this. If we actually take a look at input output HK's tweet, it says network update today. We have proposed the next parameter update as we continue to increase Cardano network capacity in line with the plan. So we are looking for a farther 8 KB, taking it from 72 to 80 in full. So this is going to be a huge upgrade, huge update in general. And I think it's going to be another one that makes people believe this could be the next Ethereum. So you can see here another great article on The Motley Fool. Missed out on Ethereum? Well, buy this cryptocurrency now. Obviously, they're talking a little bit more about Cardano as they give you an overview of Cardano, what makes Cardano unique, Cardano's use cases, and how it's still a young industry. I will say, guys, Cardano is definitely one of those coins I do believe is going to do much, much better in the next couple of years as we continue to see it grow and develop. I do want to jump, though, into something specific called BlockFi. We actually saw, uh, you know, talked about this one probably a couple of days in a row, but there's reasons to believe that BlockFi is, like I said, one of the best ways to get your crypto passive income. So if we actually jump down here, you can get up to 9.25% APY with a BlockFi interest account or a BIA account, so you can earn more from your crypto. The biggest thing about this, guys, is there's coins that you can't stake anywhere else. So think about Chainlink. Chainlink really doesn't have other options. Well, if we have, let's say, 10,000 Chainlink and we want to stake it for 10 years, you can see your total earnings on the side here. Obviously, you know certain ones are going to give more than others Chainlink because there's no staking because of where it's at right now. You're not going to get as much as you would get if you just did USDC. You can see the total earnings if you did USDC for 10 years with a $10,000 amount. So it's just crazy to see the amount of money you can earn passively with BlockFi. So definitely sign up if you guys are interested. 
The link down in the description below will give you up to $250 worth of Bitcoin when you sign up for the first time. And it'll also give me a little bump as well. So thank you again for the awesome support. If you guys haven't already, by the way, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on because we have another article talking about how Cardano could continue to see great, great re uh, really increases or rebounds. So the SEC introduces a Trojan horse crypto regulation as the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, and obviously Cardano XRP also all rebound. So Cardano is the big one that we want to pay attention to here. We do see a nice rebound. They're talking about a 2.8% increase. Well, if you actually zoom out and look ahead, you know, we can do that thankfully because this article was put out a couple days ago or actually this article was put out February 4th. So just yesterday, but we can see that we have had a 5.52% increase. Cardano is one of those coins a lot of people are holding, not just because of the utility, but also, like I said, we were talking about passive rewards, passive income. You can earn up to about 5% passive rewards or passive income every single year with Cardano. So that's something that you're going to want to keep in mind, as this is definitely a crypto that people are holding for the long run. I want to jump into the last month, though, because we have seen some positivity in the last week and the last day, but the last month has been a lot of negativity. We've seen about a three or really a 13.66% decrease, even with these most recent upticks. We take a look at the last year, not much for Cardano has gone right. We've seen a nice push from 66 cents up to about $2.30, right back down to a dollar and six cents, right back up to $3 and 10 cents, and then right back down to a dollar and six cents. So it's been all across the board. It's going to be hard to continue to give you guys updates without giving you guys, uh, you know, the disclaimer of I am not a financial advisor. So always do your own research because that's very, very important. When you see this kind of volatility in a crypto market like this, you're going to continue to see that with Cardano. I think we are going to see a nice rise up to potentially 4 to $5 by the end of this year at the very, very least. I think by the end of the bull market, depending on when that is and how many retail as well as institutional investors want to jump on board, I think we see Cardano easily pushing closer to a 7 to $12 price point. I know that's a fairly large price point and our market cap is already at $38.5 billion. But like we said, there's huge potential that this could be the next Ethereum. Here is a great article by The Motley Fool that we talked about missed out on ethereum by this cryptocurrency now so this could definitely be the next big push uh, kind of getting us closer to ethereum's market cap if we take a look at ethereum's market cap we're going to see a definite you know increase of 30 or really 362.1 billion dollars is the current market cap for ethereum so that's quite a ways away and there's definitely potential for a lot of growth in cardano as we continue to see like i said a ton of different people jumping on board with crypto here in the next year as we continue to see more already jumping on board with nfts and getting into the accessibility we are seeing a lot more accessibility when it comes to crypto and NFTs, just so much more ease of use. And that's going to provide more people with the potential to jump on board. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Like I said previously, if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on to stay up to date with all things regarding crypto and NFTs. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.